Hey guys, welcome to another day of Making It Work Dragology. This is day three, and today I actually made some changes, so I'm going to quickly go over them so we're on the same page here. So first off, the first change I made was I instead of having Water Spout on Jellycent, I gave it Scald, since Water Spout wasn't very effective, because a lot of people will attack Jellycent to try and stop Trick Room. Second, I made Scrafty base... I made Scrafty's IV zero for speed, so he was actually slower than um, an Iga Slash. So Iga Slash would go for an attack, and then my Scrafty would be able to do knockoff and take out the Iga Slash, which would be really nice and give my team a lot of leverage. Okay, fourth change I made, I made Altaria. So I gave Altaria the move Dragon Pulse because I wasn't using Fire Blast and I needed another stab move. And Fire Blast just wasn't doing anything for me, so I had to do something else. Uh, Scissor, we're just gonna give an air go today. If it doesn't, if I don't, you, if it doesn't work out today, I'm gonna possibly just throw in like Terrakion because my team seems to have an issue with um, Pokemon such as Landorus and what's the other Pokemon? Landers and Heatran, so it does take out Heatran pretty well. Probably not the best for Landers. So I may want to do something else, but I mean, Terrakion takes out Heatran pretty well. So that's kind of the biggest concern and problem with my team. Also, it has an issue dealing with Charizard, so if I put he Terrakion on, it just takes it out no problem. Anyways, so those are the changes I made. I thought you guys might like to see them. Because I am showing you guys how I make this team work competitively, and I I want to you guys to know the changes I make, so you guys know how I adjust my team properly to work effectively. So today we're just gonna jump into a battle. So we're gonna do two battles today. Hopefully get closer to reaching 1,400. Ooh, Lapony. Okay, so my opponent has a team of Landers, Therian, Lapony, Sylveon, Iga Slash, Thunderous, and Entei. So, two Pokemon weak to rock moves. I Scrafty may do okay here. Scrafty can deal with uh, Laponi well. It can also deal with Agaslash well. Entei probably okay because it has the Intimidate ability. And Entei, I think, it is usually physical, although it can go special. It can also do a lot of damage to uh, Thunderous. Let's see, so Scrap Lapunny has the Scrappy ability, making it so it can fake out Ghost Pokemon or hit it with Fighting Moves. So Jelly may have an issue here. I actually think leading with like Scissor, Scissor or something, Scissor. What do I want to lead with? Maybe oh, Scissor, Scrafty, Jelly in the back, and. I have no levitate, so can I deal with landers? Okay. Okay, we're gonna see how well I do. And now I'm gonna have Dragalge in the back. Okay, my opponent sends out Laponi, Sylveon, kind of expected. Also, a uh, kind of Trick Room counter here, so you know, seeing that coming. I'm gonna gonna assume they're gonna fake out my Scissor and probably do like a Hyper Voice. So I am going to protect here and switch into Jellyson. So they may evolve. Do they go fake out for the scissor? They fake out the scissor like I thought. Then they go for a hyper voice. Try and get some damage off. It does a large amount of damage to Jellyson. But it got disabled, which is good for me. So right here, I doubt that they're going to leave Sylveon in. They're probably going to switch. I am going to bug by the Lapony, trying to get off a lot of damage. And just go for Trick Room. Because I really want that Lapony gun. And if they struggle, it's no big deal to me. Because they're just doing a lot of damage to themselves to get a little damage off against me. So a Pokemon they could have in the back is like Thunderous. To resist the Bullet Punch or Entei. And then there's also Iga Slash. Which is another possibility. So now we're just waiting for them to make a move. Um, so, yeah, they did lead with what I thought they, they would lead to stop Shirk which was Sylvie on the pony. So it was a good thing I had Jelly Sin in the back to switch in for Scrafty because usually when you set up Shirk you want to lead with like Scrafty, 
Scrafty. Ah, oh, they have Anchor. Ah. I see what they did there. Okay, so I'm going to send out Scrafty to get our Intimidate off. Okay, what do I want to do here? They could go for Shadow Ball and Jelly Scent. And take it out. Do I need it? It does hit Lanners and Entei pretty well. Yeah, I think I want Jelly Scent. So I'm going to do a double switch here. Switch into Dragology. Scrafty. So they're going to get hit by Intimidated again. They're switching out Lapony into Sylveon, which is good for me. They set up Substitute. Not so good here, but I can deal with that. So right here. Let's see, Scrafty. I probably want to save Scrafty. Scrafty is the best thing I have to deal with that Iga Slash. I'm going to go for a knockoff on Iga Slash. And just... They don't... If I do Sludge Bomb, the only thing they ever to resist Sludge Bomb on their team is Agaslash. So if I Sludge Bomb um, Sylveon, they don't really have anything to resist it, and they're going to take massive damage. So they switch into Lopony, which is fine. Oh, and the King Shield. Sludge Bomb almost takes out Lopony, and it gets poison, which is really good for me. Okay, Scrafty gets hit by... Well, Scrafty goes into King Shield, which lowers his attack, which is not good for me, but I can deal with that. So, what do I want to do here? Uh, Jelly Scent will be pretty good here. I'm going to go for another... I have two turns of Trickham left. Maybe I go, should go for... See, the Egg Slash in it is an issue. I didn't really bring too much to counter it. Which is not a good thing here. So, this is one... Even Terrakion wouldn't help here if I had Terrakion instead of Scissor. I wonder if Entei has Protect. I'm going to go for another knockoff and Sludge Bomb Entei. Just get some damage off. It doesn't Protect, so if I double it up, I would have been fine. Sad day. Okay, they do Shadow Ball? Would they expect me to switch? Oh, and they get a Burn Off. This Scrafty is just... Phew. Not doing too much for me here. All right, well, let's see. I have one turn of Trickham left. I'm going to go for, gee, that Aga Slash is like a wall to my team. I'm going to go for Knock Off on Aga Slash and Sludge Bomb and take. They King Shield, which is expected. They do a double protect. Okay, I'm okay with that. Go for a uh, knockoff. Does nothing here. I am going to. See, Ente is a big issue here. I want to take out that Ente. <sighs> okay. I th think I should just go for. Knock off on Entei and Sludge Bomb on Entei. Okay, they there. It looks like they're double targeting me. Ah, oh, they get the burn and Shadow Ball goes off. Ooh, dra Drag Algae's bulk showing off here. They had Charcoal and Entei. Okay, so Drag Algae taking some massive damage here, which isn't good for me. My Scrafty faints, which isn't good. Their their last Pokemon is Sylveon. I send out Scissor. I don't want to let's see so scissor does not deal well with the Aegis Lash so I want to bullet punch Sylveon to get out but <sighs> what do I want to do here if I switch into Jelly Sin and they do Shadow Ball I'm going to lose Jelly Sin send out Dragology I think I can take about Turn and burn, but it's not very fast. Scissor can't really deal with Aegis Slash.
Yeah, this isn't looking too good here. I think I may want to protect Sludge Bomb, Sylveon. Okay, so they Shadow Ball my Scissor, trying to get some damage off. They get Hyper Voice off, doing a large amount of damage to my Dragalge. I sent out Jelly Scent. So right here, I'm going to Bullet Punch Sylveon. And can I survive a Shadow Ball? I don't think I can survive a Shadow Ball. I could do Scald on an Aegislash. Okay, Bullet Punch does not take Sylveon out. That is one bulky Sylveon. Okay, Shadow Ball gets disabled. Hyper Voice does a huge amount of damage to me. So, this is not looking too well. I should have brought a Aegislash counter. So, I am going to. Stop Bug Bite. Bullet Punch Sylveon, take it out. They're gonna King Shield. I do Bullet Punch, taking out Sylveon. I'm surprised it survived. It should normally KO it. Bullet Punch should normally KO Sylveon, so. That was just. Huge surprise. So right here, I'm just going to do, I guess, Bug Bite. They set up Sob. Okay. So my Scissor faints because of damage from Life Orb, but, you know, that was a good game. Pretty fun. I should have brought a counter to that Aegislash. But, you know, live and learn. We're just going to jump in the second battle now. Okay, this time they have a... Sableye, Yanmega, Garchomp, Thunder's Theory, and Kangaskhan, and Heatran. So a little bit of a different team here. I think Jelly Sim will be very important. They're probably going to lead with, like, uh, Sableye to uh, just start my entire team. Scissor was, does not do too well here. So I probably want to leave with like Scrafty Jelly Scent just to get Trick Room set up and have like Rotom Heat in the back because they may try and will us my Scrafty or hit it with a flying move or something. And then Altaria or Dragalge? I'm leaning towards Altaria this game. So I'm going to pick Altaria. So they send out Sableye and Mega. Whew! That's actually a good lead for me. I don't think that Yan Mega should be able to take out my Scrafty. So I'm going to switch into Rotom Heat. I don't want to lose. Uh, I don't want Scrafty burned yet. And then I'm just going to go for Trick Room. You get Trick Room set up. So I send out Rotom Heat. They do Gravity and Hypnosis. Wow. That is not a move I was expecting. Hmm. That's a cool strategy. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Okay, I'm going to go for uh, Protect and Trick Room. They send out Thunder's Theory in. They try hypnosing me, but it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Let's see. I could Thunderbolt the Yanega. I guess I could have, should have gone for Fake Out that first turn. And I'm gonna go for Trick Room again. They hit me with Hypnosis. I get hit by Thunderbolt, which knocks me out. That looks like a Life Orb Thunderous. So, not doing too well here. I'm gonna send out Scrafty. Okay, and then go for uh, Overheat on Thunderous and Fake Out Yanmega. They go for a Protect. Fake Out does nothing. They're going to do a Focus Blast. Alright. Gravity makes it so it won't miss. This Yanmega is just a pain in my butt. I'm going to go for an Overheat on Yanmega Rock Slide.
Okay, so they go for an air focus blast, knocking out my Scrafty. I am now down two Pokemon and still asleep. Okay, I'm sending out Altaria. <sighs> oh boy. So... I could actually go for... Thunderbolt and Jelly Scent. I mean, Sableye and Mega Evolve. Hyper Voice. Not looking too good for me here. They fake out my Altaria. Hit it with Hint Power Ice. Doing a lot of damage. Okay, my Rotom wakes up. I get Thunderbolt off. Knocking out Sableye with a crit. Okay, then. So they send out Mega again. I'm going to go for... An overheat on that thunders and protect because I want Altaria to survive in our turn so I can just start doing hyper voice to survive and just get off large amount of damage if I have Heatran in the back I may have some issue if they have Kangaskhan I may have some issue there okay they protect Yanmega which is fine I don't even go for that they try hidden power ice again that's okay I overheat thunders knocking it out now what Pokemon do they have in the back they get a speed boost Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And they have Kangaskhan. Uh. I am going to go for... Thunder Wave on Kangaskhan and try and go for a double protect here. So, if my double protect fails, they're setting up Tailwind, doing a return, knocking out my Altaria. So yeah, Mega Support has Tailwind, Tailwind, Hypnosis, Protect, and probably an attacking move, which probably won't do much. So Kangaskhan is now uh, par paralyzed. Let's hope for some full paralyzations here. I'm just going to go for attacking, and it hits me with Hypnosis. This team is annoying. Oh... Oh boy. Okay, they get a speed boost. I'm asleep. I was not expecting that gravity. Okay, I go for a protect. They try hidden power something on me. And a return. So that Yanmega moveset is hidden power, tailwind. Um, hypnosis and protect. Let's hope for some full paralyzations here. They miss hypnosis. Thunderbolt is a crit. They hit me with return. Goodbye, Rotom. You did good here. Okay, so uh, today two losses. Game one. Don't really remember what happened. Game two, uh, unexpected team. I guess I wasn't really prepared for, which kind of sucks. But you know. Gravity showed up here, which was really cool, and I really like playing against this team despite losing. Anyway, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. If you have anything else you'd like to say, please leave a comment below, and I love to talk to you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four, making it work, Dragalgy.